Thank you, Waziri. Uh, let me just start by making a remark regarding the severity of the illness, as asked by Dr. Masi Korir. Uh, as at now, we have one person in critical care unit under ventilation. And this person is doing well. In fact, we have been in uh, contact with the doctors who are taking care of him. And we are looking at a possibility of one or two days he'll be out of the ventilator. Uh, in our previous announcement, there were two people under ventilatory support. The other one came out of the ventilator. He's up and about. The other persons who are admitted in various hospitals from Nairobi all the way to Mombasa Avenue, Aga Khan, are all doing well. So majority of our cases are still very mild cases. Of course, if you look at the age distribution, the youngest has been two years old. The oldest is 74 years old. A male to female ratio of about 56, 44. So more men and uh, fewer uh, women. And of course, we know the reason why we have that male-female distribution. Our case fatality rate has been about 2 to 3 percent, which compares very, very favorably with other countries. At, in the early stages of the infection, in which case you are dealing with smaller numbers, and therefore the crude death rate or the case fatality rate tends to be low. Uh, in terms of uh, quarantine, I, let me just also add that though this is a painful measure for those whose duration of quarantine has been extended, it is a painful measure that we had to take but it is for the good of the Kenyan people. I also want to applaud those who actually our, bore the covenant of respecting the quarantine instructions, those who came like from hotels like uh, uh, Trademark in, in, in Gigiri, uh, Hill Park Hotel, where there was no single case that tested positive. And as uh, today, we have started releasing those people home. We want to assure you again, especially those who are in quarantine, to ensure that you follow the social distancing rules, the infection prevention control measures, the hand washing, and very soon we are going to again check on you after the 10th day to see if you are negative. Working together with the county governments, we shall be able to release you to go home and continue with self-quarantine in conjunction with the county health management teams and uh, follow up from the team at the national level. Thank you. On? On? The distribution of PPE to the county and why healthcare workers are still going to their homes as opposed to being isolated, yet they are working in high Thank you. That must have escaped my mind. The healthcare workers, in fact, as are today, following our meeting today with the Aziri and PS, we have identified suitable accommodation at uh, one, one of the hotels is Hadassah Hotel, just next to Nairobi Hospital, for the healthcare workers. And the team at the Kenya Medical Practitioners Dentist Council, chaired by Dr. Evan Jenga, are working extra hard to be able to get us extra facilities so that healthcare workers who get into contact with these cases don't go home, but go to a specific place and therefore prevent cross-contamination with members of the family and the public as they move home. In terms of the distribution of the PPEs, of course, it is on case-by-case -case basis. The demand so far, in terms of the numbers we have, Nairobi will take a bigger chunk of the PPEs because we have higher numbers in Nairobi, but we'll also be able to deploy a significant number of PPEs to Kwale, Kilifi, Mombasa, Nakuru, where we also have active cases, and any other place where we think based on a risk matrix that we have developed. Thank you.